A rally was held outside the Mahoney County Courthouse in Youngstown this afternoon in support of Chaz Bunch, who was eligible for parole after being sentenced to 49 years in prison for the rape and kidnapping of a Youngstown State University student in 2001. Bunch was initially sentenced to 89 years in prison at the age of 16. However, in 2019, Judge Maureen Sweeney ruled the punishment was harsh and unconstitutional and resentenced him to 49 years with the eligibility of parole. The main reason why we're here is because the DNA evidence excludes Chaz Bunch from this crime. He is only guilty of taking a ride from the people who actually committed this crime. Court records do state the semen sample found on the victim did not match Bunch's DNA. Records also state the victim identified three of the men who took part that night but could not positively identify Bunch from a lineup. Records state she later identified Bunch after seeing his photo in a newspaper article. However, Jamar Callier, who was convicted in the case as well, testified that Bunch took part in the rape and that Bunch wanted to kill the victim until he told him not to. Bunch has maintained his innocence and so has his supporters. A crime that he never committed. He's been locked up for 20 years and something that I do not believe he did. Not everyone feels he should be released, however. Prosecutor Paul Gaines sent out this statement stating that defendant Bunch has not shown any remorse for his crimes. At the rally, Bunch's supporters could be heard chanting, free Chaz Bunch, time's been served. Everybody's had an opportunity to tell their story except for Chaz. The victims told her story, the judge has told the story, the prosecutor's office has told their story, but no one has spoken with Chaz. In a statement sent out by Prosecutor Gaines, the victim released this statement saying that Bunch wanted her dead and by the grace of God, Jamar Collier stopped him from pulling the trigger. Bunch was scheduled for a parole hearing on November 22nd of this year, but his daughter said that has been rescheduled to January of next year. They say they will continue to fight for his release until then. In the article below, you can read more details about the case. Reporting in Youngstown, Jennifer Rodriguez, WKBN 27 First News.